thank you. I am not going to be singing tonight. Please hold your applause. You can smell the disappointment in the air. Um, you know, one of the things that has amazed me since this whole border debacle started was, was the fixation on the, the, the paranoia about jobs. Our jobs, they're coming for our jobs. They're coming to steal our jobs. People, poor Mexican families aren't coming up here to take the good American jobs. That's what Canadians do. <laughs> and we have been doing it forever. I mean, um, Bill Shatner, Marty Short, Jim Carrey, Monty Hall, for God's sake. It's insidious. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a very polite invasion of the body snatchers. Right. You know? Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm going to take your job now. Get out. <laughs> Gosling, Reynolds. If you were hiring Orion in this town, very good chance he snuck in from up north. And me, I mean, I, I took a big job from some American guy. Not only did I steal a big American job, I stole a big American gay job. And, and you, you might ask yourself, I mean, what, what qualifications? Did I even have for that? I would rather not say. <laughs> I think some things are personal. And yet, with all of this, this employment thievery coming from the North, here's a question for you. Where's our wall? We don't have a wall. I think, I think with everything that's going on, I think there's going to be one as soon as the Canadians get around to building one. I just, I just, Twitter, I'm kidding. Exactly. You know, I, I came here in the early 90s, 93, 94, 95. I got my citizenship 20 years ago. But here's the thing, I wasn't escaping anything. Well, poutine, you gotta run from that shit, but. <laughs> I love my country. I just wanted to come explore possibilities in this one, and I was welcomed. But the poor, the tired, the huddled masses, the families, the children that come to America or are trying to come to America to escape an often brutal existence, they need our help. So this is my particular call to action today. So many immigrants in this country, as we've talked about, fear deportation every day. Here's one way you can help. If you're religious, if you're a, a person of faith, encourage your house of worship to offer sanctuary to immigrants. Call, yes. Call or email your pastor or your, your rabbi, or go inside the church, speak to a community leader, or to, to your representative, connect with neighbors about how we can ease the fear of those who are just trying to seek a better life. There's plenty of information available online at the National Immigration Law Center website, which is nilc.org, or sanctuarynotdeportation.org. Coming to this country, becoming a citizen, obviously changed my life. I just want others to have the opportunity to feel the joy and the security that I felt. What makes a country great is the size of its heart and the depth of its empathy. Thanks for being here. And then from all of my fellow Canadian actors who are working stateside, I just want to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry.